Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's math lesson is on triangles. Our objective is to identify and classify triangles and find missing angle measures. Our real-world link starts us off with ramps. Julia practices jumping on a ski ramp. The front of the ramp is a triangle like the one shown below. Draw an X through the type of angle that is not shown in the triangle, right, acute, or obtuse. Well, it appears that we have a right angle right here, no pun intended. We have an acute angle here with the 80 degrees because that's less than 90, and this angle certainly looks like it's less than 90 as well, which leaves us with the obtuse. I don't see anything larger than 90 degrees, so we can go ahead and cross off the obtuse angle. Measure the unknown angle. Describe the relationship between the 80 degree angle and the unknown angle. Well, if we had our protractors out, you would measure that angle X is just 10 degrees. Well, what is the relationship between 80 and 10? Well, if we were to add 80 plus 10, we end up with 90 degrees, which means that the angles are actually complementary. Now, draw a triangle with one obtuse angle. Well, remember, a right angle looks something like this, so we need to draw a triangle that has an angle larger than that. So I'm going to come down with that straight line again, and instead of going straight to the right, I'm going to come down like that. That gives me an obtuse angle, and then I'm going to connect these two here and here, and I have an obtuse triangle. Is it possible to draw a triangle with two obtuse angles and explain? Well, actually, the answer to this is no. When you think about it, an obtuse angle is an angle that's larger than 90. So what's your smallest, smallest obtuse angle? Well, in whole number terms, it would be 91 degrees. Well, what's 91 plus 91 is 182. And what we're going to learn in this lesson is the sum of the angles in a triangle actually add up to 180. Now, geometrically speaking, if you were to draw two obtuse angles, the rays would never connect. You couldn't make them connect. And the reason why is, well, triangles only add up to 180 and two obtuse angles are larger than that. Now when it comes time to classify triangles, we can do so by their angles and we can do so by their sides. An acute triangle has all acute angles, all less than 90 degrees. A right triangle has one right angle. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. Now we can also classify triangles by their sides. A scalene triangle has no congruent sides, whereas an isosceles triangle has at least two congruent sides, and an equilateral triangle has three congruent sides. All the sides are equal. Now a triangle is a figure with three sides and three angles. The symbol for a triangle is, well, that. It's a triangle. Every triangle has at least two acute angles. One way you can classify a triangle is by using the third angle. Another way to classify the triangles by their sides. Sides with the same length are congruent segments. Draw a triangle with one obtuse angle and no congruent sides, then classify the triangle. Well, you can see how they drew an obtuse angle here. And you might as well make them with different lengths to make sure they're not congruent. And then you connect the two segments and that's an obtuse scalene triangle. You can classify it by its obtuse angle and its no equal side, so obtuse scalene. Now our question is to draw a triangle that satisfy the set of conditions below, then classify the triangle. A triangle with one right angle and two congruent sides. Well, to guarantee our two congruent sides, we might as well draw the triangle here with the right angle, or draw a right angle, so that the two 
sides are equal. So that this side and this side are equal. And that's what those little dashes mean. And then we could have the right angle. And then we can connect. Oops. We can connect those. And we have our triangle. Now, what is it? Well, if we look at the type of angle first, we have a right angle. So it's a right triangle. So we can write right. We have two equal sides, and a triangle with two equal sides is isosceles. So we have a right isosceles, I S O S C E L E S triangle. So one right angle, two congruent sides, a right isosceles triangle. Classify the triangle on the house by its angles and by its sides. Well, we have two equal sides, which are right here and here. And we have an obtuse angle here. So it's an obtuse isosceles triangle. What about this triangle? We have this guy on a skateboarding ramp, it looks like. And I can see that we have a right angle here. So we definitely have a right triangle. And none of these sides are equal. You, you can just look and know that none of these sides are equal. So this is a right scalene triangle. Now for our stop and reflect question, how would you classify a triangle with a right angle and two congruent sides? Well, again, the right angle makes it a right triangle and two congruent sides makes it isosceles. So a right isosceles triangle. Now we can also find missing angles of triangle. The sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. In algebra, x plus y plus d equals 180 degrees. So you can write and solve an equation to find the missing angle measure of a triangle. Here, if we're looking for the measure of angle z, we know that y is 119 and x is 43 degrees. So z plus the 43 plus the 119 are going to add up to 180. Well, 43 plus 119 was 162, and you subtract the 162 from both sides to get the measure of angle z is 18. Let's see if we can do this for ourselves. In triangle ABC, the measure of angle A is 25 degrees. The measure of angle B is 108 degrees. What is the measure of angle C? Well, A plus B plus C is going to equal 180 here. So the 25 degrees plus the 108 degrees plus the measure of angle C all need to add up to 180 degrees. Now, 25 plus 108 is 133 plus the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees. And now to solve for the measure of angle C, subtract 133 from both sides. This cancels out. And what we're left with is the measure of angle C is equal to 47 degrees. So the sum of the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and we can use that to find the missing angles. In this example, we have the Alabama state flag, and we're looking for the missing measure of the angle in the triangle. Well, we write and solve the equation where we have x plus 110 plus 35 equals 180 degrees. They combined 110 plus 35 to get 145. Subtracted 145 from both sides to get x equals 35 degrees. That is it for this lesson on triangles. 180 is an important number, as are your properties that acute, all acute angles, or right triangle, one right angle, obtuse, one obtuse angle, and then scalene is no congruent sides, isosceles at least two congruent, and equilateral is three congruent. So a couple things to remember in this lesson, but once you do, you should be good.
Good luck.